Fort Worth would not be the cow town it is without its soaring silos. The city grew up around them, but this is what happens when history, from a firefighter's perspective, is neglected. We, we don't like abandoned buildings. Craig Trogic says it took special equipment and more than two hours for firefighters to rescue this man early Thursday morning. It's not clear why the man was in the old Kimball Milling Company grain elevator, but he fell and broke his leg. Inside? A lot of trash, you've got a lot of drug paraphernalia, dirty needles, um, wild animals that are living in there. It's the same filth firefighters have found at the silos five minutes south. People who live in that structure's shadow have begged for its demolition. A plea that grew louder after a teenager fell and died there in 2016. If they're going to knock it down, knock it down. Don't, don't wait another 100 years. <laughs> I mean, that building's coming down by itself. George Martinez will get his wish. The city plans to tear down the building in the coming months after trying but failing to contact its owner for eight years. Turns out the same elusive entity also owns the Kimball silos. It's probably looking at about 100 feet. Trogic did not call for their demolition and noted they haven't hosted as many problems as their sibling in Worth Heights. But he says these silos do seem to invite exploration. You don't want to lose your history, but when it gets to the point if, if there could be possible lives at stake because of that, there's some tough decisions that need to be made. But that's nothing new in an old city. In Fort Worth, I'm Matt Houston.